Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at the North American International Auto Show. This is down in the startup area. It's a, a, a vibrant ecosystem. There's a whole bunch of little companies that are doing interesting things beyond just the big car companies upstairs. And we're uh, excited to talk to Corey James Haas from Haas Alert, mm -hmm. uh, CEO and founder. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Thanks. A absolutely. So you just got back from CES too. So there's like yeah. this big <laughs> exodus from CES <laughs> back up to here. Exactly. So for the folks that aren't familiar, tell us a little bit about Haas Alert and what you guys are so up to. Haas Alert is a mobile vehicle to vehicle platform. So we enable drivers to be alerted of emergency vehicles, utility trucks, school buses, all these things that aren't on the grid yet. And then we make that data available to automotive manufacturers, traffic data suppliers, and, uh, and other uh, vehicle components. So you take the data from the emergency vehicle, fire truck, police mm -hmm. car, whatever, and then you're pumping that into these other systems? Exactly, because those are the things people use already. Okay. So the idea isn't, oh, have a separate mobile app and we have to wait for the whole world to download the app. So instead, we integrate with the in-dash infotainment systems on the vehicles, mapping providers that people already use to navigate, and even traffic data suppliers. And, and what's kind of the response uh, to a startup? Because one of the classic startup problems trying to sell into a large company or a yep. large ecosystem is, you know, they're concerned about vendor viability, you know, are you just too small? Mm -hmm. how, how are they embracing, you know, kind of A, being a small company, but two, kind of being out in front in terms of the innovation? Sure, so, and for us, we're platform agnostic, so it's important for us to be able to work with multiple manufacturers. And so when we show this, is, and it's a new piece of data, it's a new kind of alert, it's not something out there where they can say, oh, we can implement it this way because we know what the feature is. So for us, it's important that we can say, you know, we're, we're small, yet we have a really good data set. We have something unique. And on the distribution side, we have a way to get that to multiple manufacturers and tier ones. And I think when we first started, you know, going in, it was a little difficult, but after the first time and the first customer we get, and then showing, you know, this is what we did with this customer and here is their feedback. This is what we did with this customer and showing feedback, it, it makes it a lot easier to start moving. Okay, so you're live, you've got you've got uh, production stuff out there, or is it still yep. beta? Kind of where yep. are you in the life of the company? So we're, we're in production. Um, we have six cities right now, so we're in Detroit, uh, we're in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Palo Alto, uh, working on Belmont, California, um, and some other smaller cities that we're bringing online. So the goal of the company, we're about a year and a half old. The last few months, we really put out like a solid foundation of a small, medium, and, and large-sized populous city. Okay. And we're right at the point of, of starting to grow that even further after we've we've just kind of completed feasibility and proof of concept. Work. Okay, that's awesome. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is this tech stars. Yep. Um, something I wasn't familiar with, saw a presentation, but it's really kind of a if you correct me if I'm wrong, mobility-based, kind of Detroit-based, automotive-based, yep. kind of an incubator funding ecosystem thing, which you guys are a part of. So I wonder if you can tell us a little bit about Techstars. Sure, so with Techstars, um, they're in a bunch of different cities. Um, the one that we applied to and got in for was mobility. So it does. it's here based in Detroit. It has a big focus on automotive, all things mobility related. So even with our product, there's a lot of use cases in smart city applications. And nowadays between smart city, automotive, like everything's kind of tied. So the program focuses on mobility. Um, they do a nice job on, on getting us involved with the corporate partners, with the different tier ones and automotives. Plus they allow us to get, take investment um, right up front, so it helps the company grow. And then after the program, it's, you know, they kind of have this model of tech stars for life. So, you know, there's been probably more engagement <laughs> actually <laughs> after the program has ended that's allowed us to continue to grow, reach out when we need help, whether it's for mentorship or, or intros or contacts, they really keep going after the program is over um, more than you know, you hear programs say that, but right, this right. has really been above and beyond, to be honest. Well, the one thing I couldn't believe in the presentation earlier, they even, uh, I don't know what it takes to qualify, but you can get a house. Yeah, so here in Detroit, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's nice. So they provide housing, they've actually rehabbed one of the homes here, um, and they make it available to any of, the, any of the startups that have gone through the program anytime you're in Detroit. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of a uh, sort of Melrose-ish place kind of environment, <laughs> but you know, it's free, they provide the housing, and right, right. you're really in there with, with other founders and other startup companies. So it's, it's really great to be in Detroit, doing your business with your customers, and then being able to you know, interact with other startups and, and seeing how they're handling and tackling other issues that you might be finding too. Right, and then back to kind of your idea, you know, um, you know, how is it now? I mean, it's so much easier to, to have a startup idea and leverage 
all this existing infrastructure that's in place, yep. API economy, the cloud economy, all this infrastructure and apps, and, and to really have this cool, unique plug into that infrastructure, you're not having to build the whole thing. You've just got a nice little piece. Yep, so we so for us, it was how do we, so our whole mission was how do we alert drivers of the emergency vehicles, um, how do we alert them of the utility trucks, how do, how do we do that with data in real time that's coming directly from those vehicles themselves. The way to do it, like you said, was what infrastructure is there, and that's, for us, there was the mobile network. So we started, and that's how we work now, is pushing it over the, the mobile networks to do the communication, because the infrastructure is there, and it works globally. So because that infrastructure is available, our product works, whether it's in the US, whether it's in Asia, whether it's in Europe, it, it doesn't matter. And so leveraging those things that are that are there, you don't need to reinvent a wheel or wait for advancements on, on automotive, you can use these technologies that exist. Awesome, well, Corey, thanks for taking a few minutes. Sure. Corey from Hoss Alert, doing exciting things and really taking advantage of this whole change in mobility and not to mention the API economy and cloud. Without all that stuff, yep. you couldn't do it, right? Yep. All right, well, Thank best you. of luck. We'll keep an eye on the company. He's Corey, thanks. I'm Jeff. We're at the North American International Auto Show. You're watching theCUBE. See you next time. Thank you.